Hello chaps and welcome to my build update number 5 for the Airfix 124th scale Orca Typhoon Mark 1B kit number A19002 this is my second entry into the spiffy tiffy buddy build that I'm hosting here on YouTube and on Facebook alright at the end of build update number 4 I would built up the aircraft put all the exterior skins on cleaned her up and made her ready for priming and painting so that's where this update starts priming the aircraft that was the top side this is the bottom side and then priming all the peripheral parts flaps ailerons rocket guide rails etc and then when all that was done I put some chrome metal color on areas that I thought chipping would take place because I plan to do some chipping also put it onto the uh, flaps and then use that chrome for the wheel struts and on the wheel hubs there I then cleared all that clear coated all of that um, chrome to seal it that's the underside all sealed in just on the chrome areas and then went on to pre-shading that's the bottom side all pre-shaded including the flaps that's the top side I used uh, black toned down with some grey I then painted the interior of the flap areas so I masked around there airbrushed some interior green toned that down with some white to do some highlights and then moved on to putting the tail band the sky fuse large band on so mask the tail end used Tammy XF21 which I think is too green so I added some white to tone it down and then sealed those painted areas in with a gloss clear coat then temporarily located those flaps and masked the wheel bay doors because the D-Day stripes on the wheel bay doors as you can see on that right hand view do not run parallel and in line with the D-Day stripes on the aircraft so after that I um, decanted some air spray into a cup and then brush painted that over the chrome areas ready for uh, doing chipping after painting so the first thing to paint was to mask for the white bands for the D-Day stripes on the upper lower wings and along the fuselage and when that was dry I taped areas to leave spaces for the black and then mixed black with some grey to tone it down airbrush the stripes D-Day stripes and then airbrush the propeller as well mixed a bit of white with that to tone that down even further to do some highlights and then taped the end of the propellers to do the yellow tips and then did some chipping as you can see there and then unmasked the D-Day stripes took out those wheel bay doors that was the top, that's the bottom checked how they looked, thought it looked good and that's a view with a propeller in place and then it was on to masking the wheel bay doors and doing the stripes and the correct orientation on those painted the white on first and taped for the black stripe painted that on toned it down with some grey and then located those doors in place and as you can see they don't orientate the same way as the stripes and then did some chipping to the paintwork on the leading edges and on the top and underside of the wings and sealed all that paintwork in with a gloss clear coat the stripes and the propeller I then did some pre-shading on the rockets with a fine brush make them ready for later and then it was on to painting the aircraft so I masked over the D-Day stripes leaving spaces on the fuselage where letter codes go and serial numbers and the underside there and then airbrushed the underside grey in place toned it down with some white and then did some highlights so the underside was done and then used that grey to do the um, rocket guide rails and then sealed that in when it was dry with a gloss clear coat and on the rocket rails too so then it was on to making masks for the upper side camouflage so what I did was scale up the painting diagram instructions and uh, it worked out at 360% zoom so 3.6 times zoom on the 
photocopier and then cut out the masks put them in place did the grey first, the upper grey and also use that grey over the canopy and the windshield then unmasked everything and sealed that grey in with a clear coat, gloss clear coat when that was dry I masked over that gloss clear coat with the grey coloured masks and the spacing in between will be given the RAF dark green as you can see there also on the shield for it, windshield and the uh, canopy added some white, toned it down, did some highlights then removed all the masking to see how she was looking and I thought she was looking pretty cool so then I uh, used gloss clear coat sealed in all that dark green and the only thing left to do now paint on that aircraft was the front leading edge yellow stripes but before I did that I took a few more views of the aircraft so you can see how it looks so far that's the last one and the next view shows the port side mast ready for the yellow stripe that's the underside mast and then there the masks are removed on the starboard side and that's the stripe on the port side after that I moved on to painting the rockets so I did the nose end of the rockets with an olive drab model master gloss coated it to seal it and then masked over that and then did the shafts of the rockets using a XF62 olive drab Tamiya and then it was on to painting the tips of those rockets I painted the white first followed by the red stripe at the rear and then a yellow nose and those rockets were ready for clear coating to make them ready for weathering the next thing I did was move on to the pilot but I didn't complete him uh, I've just put base colours down for now it's now Wednesday afternoon, 2 o'clock, and tomorrow Thursday is Thanksgiving Day. And uh, I have to start clearing my modelling gear away off the table now, dining table, because um, we've got family coming up from Georgia and down from northern Maine, and other family from, uh, from local that are going to be here for Thanksgiving. Wife's off, finishes work tonight, she's off Thursday, Friday and Monday and uh, so yeah I've got to get the table cleared so there's the pilot said still more to do on that after painting him it was on to decals there's the port side upper wing decals in place that's the starboard side upper wing decals that's the starboard side fuselage decals and the port side fuselage decals and the last thing to do was the underside and there's the peripheral parts and I took a few photographs now because this is it for this update that's as far as I'm getting that's all the painting done except for that little bit more work on the pilot but as I said gotta get ready for Thanksgiving now the tables gotta be cleared but I think she's looking pretty cool next stage will be finish the pilot, weather, uh, clear coat everything and make it ready for weathering and final assembly and then I'll take off all the cowling panels gun bay panels and do some weathering inside of those to finish off the final assembly so that's it guys, that's it for this update number 5 so thanks for watching and until build update number 6 final assembly and weathering uh, thanks for watching. Talio chocks away.